Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel, Charles Morris, and today is the day that the government is expected to uh, shut down at sundown today, which is Saturday, September 30th. The uh, government is expected to uh, shut down. Now, this is where a lot of food businesses are going to actually struggle with this. And it's not going to look good. And I want to actually go over um, who would be affected by the government shutdown. And the worst part is that there are workers that will have to return to work <clears throat> without pay and it's it's quite sad really anyway go 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 ahead and like and subscribe and comment on the channel child morris and let's get into how bad this situation is because it's not gonna look very pretty with the government shut down. Um, this is going to affect um, food assisting programs and you know um, state parks. I'm sure federal as well and. Even though these state parks could end up staying open for a while and that stuff, um, sanitation services have been halted and, you know, just imagine continuing to go to your state park with the shutdown government and, you know, you have all this um, pile of garbage that piles up on the piles up near dumpsters and all that stuff and you know nobody's there to take care, take care of it because the employees aren't going to get a pay now however there are lawmakers that get paid like and airports and the pilots don't get their pay only the lawmakers which is unfair really now the lawmakers I could be talking about like lawmakers from somewhere else other than airports that get their pay they pro or it could have just meant like lawmakers, like lawyers and that stuff. But you know, it's um, it's very to me. This is um probably the most that a lot of people are going to have to suffer with due to a shutdown government. And what's even worse is these stupid Republicans are just not even willing to actually do anything to keep the government from being shut down. And Joe Biden said this. He said if if, <clears throat> pardon me, if the Republicans are not going to do their job and do what's right by the country and that stuff, then obviously people need to stop electing these idiots that won't even take care of.
the American people. I mean, I mean, here we are. We have like people elect stupid politicians that would do nothing, almost nothing, to protect the American people. And we have Republicans that are in the Senate, and they're all about, you know, Republican policies and all that stuff. And, you know, our last Republican president, Donald J. Trump, he, um, obviously... I, in my opinion, I think he was all about Republican policy, but he was also, he was also a lunatic at the same time. And I mean, as the days get closer for Donald J. Trump to actually have the trial, the more of a lunatic that a lot of people are going to see him be. And not only that, but Donald J. Trump wants, um, Donald J. Trump, um, doesn't even want, um, like, um, oh, I believe he wants, like, um, learning programs, um, shut down as well. So, yeah. A lot of Republicans can be absolutely crazy and absolutely insane. So, is there a lot of people in America that are going to really appreciate the government being shut down for, um, I don't know. I don't know how planning idiot Republicans want to keep the government shut down. And if these idiot Republicans are the reason that the government is getting shut down, then they should be blamed for it. Because not only that, but the American people have to suffer without getting paid to actually, you know, uh, put food on the table or, you know, pay off their taxes or, you know, whatever. And I find this very, very stupid. And the government is getting shut down for, again, in my honest opinion, for very stupid reasons. The government is getting shut down for very, very stupid reason, in my honest opinion. And these Republican politicians don't want to do anything about it. Now, um, President Joe Biden has uh, pretty much blast House Republicans for what they're doing. And I just want to be clear, this is not a Republican crisis. This is an American crisis. So... I mean, Joe Biden's not blasting out Republicans because he's a Democrat, but because of what the Republicans are doing to the American people. And Joe Biden has a heart for um, the American people of this country. So, yeah, he's a Democrat. I know people hate the fact that the Democrats are... A lot of people would think that the Democrats are all about democratic policy, which is not really the case. There are proper leaders. There are proper leaders in this country. And the people just need to elect the right leaders to actually lead this country. And the proper leaders that would would actually, um, you know, have a good of enough heart for the country and the American people 
to have that proper leadership that the American people so want, regardless of Democrat or Republican. This is what the people want. All right? Not some idiot Republican or Democrat politician that's all about the policies of their particular party. I mean, we don't want a stupid Democrat who's in the Senate or is president or in the House that's all about Democrat policy only and doesn't get to care for the American people. That's not what the people want. And the same thing goes for the Republicans. If they're the Republican in the Senate or the House or as President and they're all about Republican policy, then if they don't really give a care about the American people, then why are like these idiots? I mean, that, that's just That's, that's, again, that's me being really honest with people here on this video. And honest is the way that I want to keep it. Like, as you know, I'm not going to try and spread any kind of misinformation or disinformation of any sort because that's not what I like doing. All right. If there are Republicans that don't want to be proper leaders or proper politicians, and as Joe Biden said, why are we electing these people? If they're not going to do the job right and care enough for the American people, then why I like these idiots. I mean, it's clear. So, That's what I wanna, that's what I really wanted to discuss in this video. I mean, it's about time that when the next election is around, hopefully there'll be people that can honestly they can start to elect some proper leaders here that are actually going to do everything necessary to actually keep our government functioning and not be shut down for a stupid reason. And, you know, have a care a lot, like, care so much for the American people and the country because that's what proper leaders do. They keep people, they keep their people safe. They keep their government functioning. All right, this is absolutely unnecessary what is happening with the government right now. I mean, for the people who have jobs, they, um, they're suffering by, um, oh, not getting their pays anymore. And, as again, these stupid Republicans in the Senate are not going to do anything to keep the government 
functioning. There's the plan, and some of them argue about like, well, what? Um, what about the war in Ukraine? And you know all that stuff. I mean, there's always excuses. There's always excuses why some of these idiots just can't do their job right and care so much about what is happening to their own country and the, and their own people. That said, these Republicans are so focused on They're so focused on other stuff. And they're always procrastinating and not doing the proper job which politicians and proper leaders are supposed to do, which is keep their government functioning and keeping their people safe. And that is what these idiot politicians and leaders in the Senate are not doing. And they're not going to keep the government running after sundown, and they are most definitely not going to have a heart for the American people. And why would these Republicans actually care about the war in Ukraine? I don't know, but I can tell you right now, all of this, the government shut down stuff, all of it, I find this all stupid, what these Republicans are doing. The government shut down on sundown of September 30th, that's going to be absolutely unnecessary, these Republicans these idiot Republicans are pretty much going to be to blame for the shutdown. I believe that. And and I don't mean to actually, you know, blame Republicans for every single thing in this country, okay? I'm, no. I would blame Democrats, too, if they were making stupid moves like this, too. But my point is I think people are probably going to be fed up with these uh, what these Republicans are actually doing to have our government shut down by sundown of today and there are going to be a lot of people that just won't get their pay especially for the people who work hard to, to fight in the military they won't get paid either and this is absolutely stupid. I think that Republicans, or regardless what party you're from, if you are all about your own policy, then obviously, then people are just going to get, you know, very offended that they've elected you in the first place, and they men want to like, oh my goodness, why did I like this person in the first place? Why did I? What is it? I thought, I thought somebody like Kevin McCarthy was gonna be the best Republican, which proves that that was probably like one of the biggest voting mistakes. And, you know, I mean, people should actually start realizing that we have idiots that are just in the Senate there that just don't even do their job properly. And if there's a future president of the United States that's not going to do their job properly, when the American people elect some person that they think is going to do whatever, protect the country, if that's the, when that's the complete opposite, that just learn the hard way. They would just learn the hard way, and then you would just figure out that, okay, that was probably like one of my biggest voting mistakes. There are a couple of people that realized that 
Trump was the biggest voting mistake when they, when 2020 came around and Donald J. Trump was doing nothing to protect the American people from this deadly COVID-19 virus. And Americans just need to stop electing idiots to run this country and run the House and in the Senate. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. And, you know, we're just, I guess, going to have to live down with it. Or, sorry, my, let me say that. I guess we're going to have to just live with a government shutdown by the time sundown approaches on September 30th. And,